Hi there, it's Ashton. In this video, we're going to go over a brief, uh, quick version of the practice that is most commonly known as EFT, or the Emotional Freedom Technique. Now, there are a lot of different versions of this technique, and you can find different ones by YouTubing it or Googling it, and you can learn more. I learned mostly about this practice myself from a book. Uh, it's gotten a little old, but it's called The Promise of Energy Psychology. It's by David Feinstein, Donna Eaton, and Gary Craig. And uh, the, most interesting, the, the most interesting thing about this technique is that it was discovered uh, by psychologists, by people with a PhD. And this book is great because it shows you exactly how to do it, but it also has a lot of clinical case studies of the successes that people have found with this practice. It's been incredibly effective where other methods have failed, especially in cases of PTSD, or cases of more quote-unquote severe mental disorders. So if this practice interests you, I would recommend getting this book. It's, it's quite good. Anyways, we're going to be creating a new product pretty soon that we're going to be selling at a very discounted price. And in that product, I'll be going over the full procedure, the most thorough procedure, uh, and some more uh, diverse ways that you can use this practice, but generally speaking, we're going to do a short one today. You can do this in less than a couple minutes. It's incredibly effective, especially for times when your emotions are running very high, when you're experiencing things like a panic attack, or if you suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder, uh, if you're experiencing conflict with somebody and your emotions are, are high and you're heated. These are all really uh, good times to use this practice, and you'll find but the practice itself is quite easy to do. The hardest part is deciding you want to do it. Uh, as with any uh, practice that helps you manage your emotions, the most difficult part is deciding that you don't want to be ruled by your emotions first. So step one in this practice is always to make the decision that you want to feel better or that you don't want to let these strong emotions influence the way you're thinking and behaving. They say when you're experiencing strong emotions, a lot of that's coming from your reptilian brain. You're in survival mode. And when you are in survival mode, it's a lot harder for your frontal cortex to activate and function to its fullest potential. And when you're in a state like that, when your frontal cortex isn't working fully, it's a lot harder to be compassionate. It's a lot harder to be rational and to weigh all the circumstances and all the, the different variables that are coming your way in a circumstance. So it's always a good idea to practice something like this to manage very strong emotions because it'll help you make better decisions in life. It'll help you be more kind and compassionate to those that you might experience conflict with. And these little decisions that you make that are that much better because you're not being ruled by your emotions are going to make a big difference in your life as you continue to move through your life. So here's the technique. We'll do it really quick and you can go ahead and do this with me. The very first step, of course, is deciding that you want to do it. The second step is acceptance and self-love. So you're going to start this by naming however you're feeling. Say you're having a panic attack. You're going to start tapping yourself right on the karate chop edge of either hand. And you're going to say to yourself, even though I feel panic right now, even though I feel anxiety right now, I deeply love and accept myself. Even though I'm feeling this panic right now, I deeply love and accept myself. Even though I feel this panic and anxiety right now, I deeply love and accept myself. This step is incredibly important because for whatever reason, this step seems to really open up the energy system and enable it to be that much more receptive to what you're about to do. Now the next step is very simple. You're just gonna go through a series of certain meridian points on your body and tap them. So you start on the corner of your eye here right at the end of your eyebrow, in between your eyebrow and the, the base of your nose. You need to tap it about seven plus times. I like to use all of my fingers. You can use just two, or I like to really use the whole hand because it helps to make sure that I really tap the right point. The second point is gonna be right here in between your temple and your eye. And while you're tapping, let yourself feel the feeling. This is not about trying to change the way you feel. It's about letting yourself feel the feeling, and I'll explain why in a minute. The next point is underneath your eyeball, right at the top of your cheekbone there. And underneath your nose, above your top lip, 
in between your chin and your bottom lip, right where it kind of divots in there. Your next point is right on your collarbone. Find the center and move about three, two to three fingers to the side. And, sorry, in either direction. You can tap that one a little more firmly because you're right on the bone there. Some people actually like to use their fist for that too. Your next one is about a hand length down from your armpit, right on your side there. Again, any of these you can do on either side of your body. And then the last one is just the top of your head. And you want to do this about three times. So if we do this quickly, let's say you're doing this in real life. Again, you're letting yourself feel how you feel as fully as possible. And as you're tapping through here, you should start to experience some relief. Now the reason this works is because as you tap on these meridian points, you're actually changing the flow of energy. So every time you have a strong emotional reaction, there's an energetic pattern to that, there's a flow. And as you allow yourself to really feel it, and you tap on these points, you're disrupting that energy pattern, and you're kind of scrambling that signal in a certain way. And basically you're taking the charge out of that emotional pattern. And the awesome thing about this is it'll help you in the moment, but it'll also help with that same energetic pattern in the future. So if you work on yourself for a specific issue like that, it's going to make it that much more, uh, it's going to make it that much less likely for it to come back and trouble you. So this isn't always a cure all like one time heals everything. However, if you practice this regularly, you're going to get some pretty profound results. And there are a lot of different ways you can use this. You can use it for negative beliefs. You can use it for strong emotions. You can use it to help program yourself to experience more positive emotions. And all of this we're going to talk about in depth in our upcoming program that I'll tell you more about in the near future. But I want you to go ahead and experience that now. I hope you enjoy it. And if you have any questions, always feel free to email me.